Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Jen. I help people reinvent their reality. So today I'm going to talk about little microsystems of the body. So I am a trained acupuncturist. I've um, been doing it for, for over seven years. Um, kind of shifting gears a little bit uh, now. So, but the reason I got into acupuncture, one of the reasons was it, um, well, number one, it, it fascinated me. It fascinated me because it was a different way of thinking about the human body is a different way of thinking about how we are responding to things emotionally, how the two are very connected. Um, so one of the things that I would always explain to people is that, you know, our bodies have these little microsystems everywhere. So we know in something like Chinese medicine or even, um, you know, something like Reiki, we have these energy centers, right, along the body. So in Reiki, you have seven energy centers, okay, on the, the front of your body. In acupuncture, you have 12 main meridian systems in the body, and these are connecting almost like these rivers of energy that connect to each other, um, that run through the organs of your body and pretty much make your body function. So. When you have something going on in the body, it could be physical, it could be emotional. Uh, this is known as a blockage along one of those pathways, along one of those meridian systems. So something like acupuncture is basically used to as a, a gateway or opening into the meridians, okay, to remove anything that's stuck or blocked. And the same with something like Reiki, it's a way to remove any sort of energetic blocks in the body. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there who don't believe in energy medicine. They think it's very woo-woo. They think, um, oh, well, I can't see energy or I can't see these meridians. I can't see the chakras. So it must not be real. <laughs> okay. And this goes back to our human ignorance, but that is for a whole nother video, which I, which I just filmed, <laughs> but understand this our bodies have little microsystems all over the place so if you've seen something like reflexology you have a little microsystems on your feet you have um, i think it's korean hand acupuncture you have microsystems on your hand um, and one of my favorites is the ear so the ear is actually reflective of the whole body so when i say microsystem what i mean is that you have it's like, okay, you have your whole body, right? But your whole body is broken down into more little bodies in a sense. So your hand is reflective of your entire body. Your foot reflexology is reflective of your entire body. That's why you can press on certain points on the hands or the feet and they can have physiological effects on the different organ systems of your body. The ear, so the ear is, especially in acupuncture, if you could see my ear, it's, um, and I'll, I'll try to post a picture, but it's an upside down fetus in the ear. So if you can picture a fetus curled up, okay, it's an upside down fetus with the, the head here and then kind of spiraling outward. So the ear is reflective of the entire body. You can actually treat the entire body using only points on the ears. It's actually a, a whole practice of just um, using ear auricular acupuncture um, where people use like ear seeds and things like that it's also why they use them a lot for addiction because there's a lot of calming points on the ears so if you could think about it you know an easy technique that you can apply to calm yourself down or get your body in balance is to just massage your ears just massage your ears from top to bottom um, for for a few minutes and you can do this throughout the day if you're feeling anxious it's also a great idea you have a point right here called shen men that's in the little triangular fossa of your ear so you can massage that and that helps just calm the system down shen men has a word shen in it shen is related to the heart and the mind it's related to a person's spirit or vitality so if somebody's anxious or somebody's feeling out of sorts then this is a good point to help ground you calm you down calm the sympathetic nervous system down, all that good stuff. I'm not going to get into all the points today. If you want me to do a video or give you any insight, you know, message me or comment below and, uh, and I will absolutely do that, you know, as far as like specific acupuncture points for, for certain things. Um, but really it's a whole, it's a whole medicine. So everybody's different, but just realize that your body has, is broken down into microsystems and these microsystems um, 
you know, you see this, you see this everywhere in nature too, little microsystems. You know, I've mentioned this before, the, the spiral effect of life. So how you see like plants and flowers have this little spiral, right? Um, effect when a, when a flower opens up, it blooms, right? When it dies, it closes up. So that it's a spiral coming back into the center point. And same with like our, our belly button umbilical cord, you know, I've gone through this as well, where, um, you know, we're all very connected to nature. We're all very connected to the universe. If you study like astrology or something like that, you see that we're all very connected to the stars or the planets. Um, so that's all I really wanted to mention today as far as, um, you know, the microsystems of your body. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help if you have anything specific you want to know about. And um, yeah, that's it. So have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Peace.